like this. Oh my god. <laughs> Or oh, thank you. Oh, makeup bag. Thank you so much. Makeup. Thank you. Hey, do you see Carrie has stuff for back? <laughs> I just say, say, you know, they walk now. Wherever we go, we go. <laughs> you guys, come on, meet the best makeup artist. See, oh, she they give me very cool, cute, and elegant makeup. See. <laughs> 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 Hi guys, so we are about going to Ojota Market. We want to buy some cutleries since the holiday. Sorry about that. The one I have at home, I don't know if people come to the house, and you know, after eating and then they just go with them. My cutleries are empty, like they are finished. Especially the teaspoon I use. I no longer have teaspoons. It's mostly my fork and my normal, you know, spoon. And I need some teaspoons because Jenna uses them to eat and all of that. So we want to go to Ojota to get some kitchen utensils. I've never been there, but my hobby said that's where he got the previous ones he got. So that's basically where we're going to. We don't. I don't want to buy from the normal market because those ones, I tend to see gold that are not really gold. So I think this market is mostly for kitchen utensils. So that's basically where we are heading to right now. As we're about stepping out, you notice that my car tire is flat. So we are trying to pump it. I have this pumping um, machine, a very mini one that if probably you're on the road and your car has issues, you can just bring it out. It pumps your tire and then you can also use it to change your tire as well. So we don't have to like go to anywhere to do that. So we just want to pump the tire a bit. And maybe till when we see where we can pump it, like the full one. Then we can pump the major one but right now we're just pumping the tire so that we can step out and that was just it i just said let me come up here to like talk to you guys hey also the actual pronunciation of this market is ojoto market not ojota i don't know why i said that initially so this is where they sell any utensils if you want to purchase any of them they actually have way better ones than the ones you see in supermarket and their prices are quite affordable so each of these spoons we're selling for 600 naira for each piece so we ended up getting about 30 pieces of them they have wine openers they have varieties of everything they also sell some second hand stuff if you want to they also sell brand new if you want to just depends on what you like and this market is just around my tree and uh, my one area eagle island area that's where you can actually see this market so we ended up buying all we wanted so I have an event to attend once I'm done buying this stuff. So literally that was all we did. We got a lot of things. I'll show you guys in one of my videos very soon. Hi guys. So <laughs> hi guys. So I'm here. We I just arrived down. I'm trying to see if I can sight Chantel from where I am. But I'm here already. So I just want to, you know step outside my first time coming for a polo event Shanta said she was here last year but i haven't been here before so i will just check it out and see what is like and how it's going on but i know i've been here one time but i don't know if it was a for a polo event but i was here that was in 2022 and i didn't know what was going on then but it didn't look like the straight fact type of vibe i'm seeing right now but anyways let me look for my partner and let's you know let's go inside hi babe Hey you all, what's going on? So you all, I just stepped out this morning to see a friend of mine. I'm about leaving our house right now. I've been here for like a while. I haven't seen her since 
I think a year and now and she's always staying in Abuja because she's based at Abuja so she came back for the holiday I couldn't see her during the holiday I just said let me quickly breeze in and see her but right now I want to go get ginger there's this ginger post I made and I so love it like so so love it so I want to just go purchase more ginger to add up to the one I have because the one I have is already out it's many very small so I want to get ginger and you know some veggies as well for my baby but this day is when incorporating more veggies into her routine so that's basically what i want to do i'm going to market square or shop right i don't know i don't know which one is more cheaper shop right market square but sure shop right is close by but i think i'll go to market square i think i like market square more so i'll go to market square to go get what i need and then basically i'll go back to the house i have a video to film today like i have a reel and then i have a video to film and then this is a new week as well i need to just plan my day as well i don't know you guys have you seen my recent video i i gave you guys a lot of tips and juices in that video on how to make money in 2024 like literally when my when i was editing the video hobby was like jenna are you sure you don't want to go and make one of this because i'm already into one and it's like this tips you gave are really interesting you should go and try one and all of that but right now i have a lot on my plate my baby myself business so presently i don't want to just add up things i know i can't meet up to if you're not following me check on jenna underscore chino or jenna chino on instagram you see my instagram page there just you know click on it and come join the family okay so you guys let me just step out and just do what i want to do i'll talk to you guys later hi y'all so i recently got introduced to this magic spice i haven't tried it before i went to the market to buy some groceries and then i requested for something different like i want to try something new and the lady selling her customer that was there introduced me to this magic spice said i should try it out it was actually a guy that introduced me to it and i'm like okay ever since i tried it i think my food has moved from let me say 100 to a 150 50 because it's really really a nice spice and then i got some ginger i wanted i don't know ginger is so expensive these days so i got some gingers i wanted from hyper city mall that was hyper city yeah that was where i got the stores and i just got as much as i wanted so i want to make jenna's tom brown the first one i tried you guys let me give you a small story around the tom brown so recently baby jenna has stopped eating like her normal food the one i used to buy and give to her and i'm trying everything possible because i don't know what she likes at the moment so i'm trying everything possible to look for something flavorful something sweet something you know that she'll enjoy she used to love banana but all of a sudden she stopped so i decided to try this tom brown i've tried tom brown the previous time in one of my videos you guys saw me where i was sieving it that one ended up to be a disaster like i had to like blend everything and sieve it like it was pop it did not work so i decided to try the tom brown the fried one that is like the powder one and you know you just make it and see if she would love it you guys i went through a lot just to do this i feel like if someone wants to try this you need a lot of energy because i had to buy this stuff wash them dry them then i had to fry it again after frying all of them then i have to grate them so i don't go out to grate things on a big blender i usually use my blender at home so grating this stuff was a lot so this was the soya beans i was checking if it was properly fried because i know when i was growing up we used to do soya beans like when you finish frying it you um peel it like you're peeling granules from the shell and then you um, blend it so i finished frying the corn the maize and the guinea corn all mixed together i don't know why i mix this stuff i think i missed it when i was washing it so i fried all of them together and that's what it's looking like so after that i had to go in with the soya beans and the cashew nut i added cashew nut i added granite i wanted to add um coconut but i ended up not adding coconut so this is me now trying to fry the cashew nut to see because i want this to be very very nice so that jenna will not have any reason not to eat it so i went ahead to fry my cashew nut so frying the cashew nut was not that difficult because it didn't take time before i know the cashew nut was already turning brown i was like okay okay i didn't bother frying my granite anymore because i mean the granite is already fried we have this person we buy bottle granite from we don't have to like fry again so the stuff i finished blending and i was trying to see how powdery it was and it was actually looking good with the blender i wasn't expecting my blender to do so much but it actually did a good job blending this thing to a very smooth powder form so after i finished blending this up you guys i blended like a portion to try making it and see if i'm correct with the proportion because i did everything one cup maize one cup guinea corn one cup granules like that i just did one cup for each of them i added it as well 
so after frying all of this and blending i decided to make a little okay so you guys this is what the powder is looking like it was a bit um plump clumpy so i had to like use my hand to Hi. press it out and then i also divided it as well i divided it and sieved it out as well so after a while me and jenna came outside to play after playing you guys i made this stuff after i finished making it guys jenna tried the first spoon and then she loved it after the first and the second spoon my dear this lady did not eat this food again to be honest till today till this very day i'm making this voice over jenna has refused to eat this food but anyways i hope you enjoy watching we had to take a break because my auntie wanted to play so i brought her out thank you so much for watching